you hear me? Yep. Hold on one sec, okay? Um, Sam. Mm -hmm. There's a whole box of files from Pennsylvania out there need to be sorted. Got it. Okay. Thank you. What the hell do you want me to do about it? Well, you could start by losing the tone. And then you could listen. I have an idea. I... Hello? Spinelli, slow down. What? The police think Heather did what? No, she's not here right now, but... But her purse is. I don't know, maybe there's some evidence in there. Yeah, Todd's in his office with his door shut. Okay, okay, it's either now or never. I'll let you... Yes, I'll let you know what I find out. Bye. Sam? What are you doing here? Where's Kate? Okay, wait a minute. Where's Crimson? Welcome to Manning Enterprises. Manning Enterprises? Yes, M-E for sure. Todd Manning bought out LuxCorp. Yeah, he published the I know what LuxCorp is, okay? So he set up the conference calls for them when Kate sold the controlling stock, but... Okay, so Todd Manning bought the entire company? Yeah, uh, do you know who he is? No, he's a hugely successful tabloid publisher. Yeah, actually, he's been focusing on the newspaper. He relaunched it as The Sun. Yeah, I know what it is. It's a rag. But you know what? The cover art is pretty catchy. I mean, Todd Manning definitely knows what he's doing. I assume sales are up. Yeah, but by, by at least 20%. So what about Crimson and Kate? Oh, I don't know. At the moment, their fates are undecided. <laughs> oh, what could my luck possibly get any worse? I mean, first Matt's apartment and now this. Matt's apartment? Yeah, I was going to live there while he's in prison, you know, keep up the place for my husband. But then Patrick didn't renew his lease, and I had sublet my apartment out to some other people. And so now I moved in with Patrick. You and... are living with Patrick. Yeah, you know, I think a feminine presence is very helpful. I mean, for one thing, he's completely hopeless at assembling outfits for Emma. That was kind of Robin's thing, but... Um... Wow, I feel... I feel really bad for him. He must be going through a hard time. <laughs> you have no idea. How are you doing? I haven't talked to you since... The baby. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the flowers. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> They didn't put any carnations in it, did they? Because I specifically told them nothing pink, yellow, or orange. Actually, the bouquet was beautiful. It had the perfect Maxi-esque touch in it. Thank you for doing that. I know you were going through your own hard no, time. No, please, Sam, come on. I just, when I heard about it, I just felt so bad for you. I mean, I can't imagine what you must be going through. Which, yeah. to be honest, is why I'm a little confused what you're doing here. I I'm, um, I'm actually Todd Manning's new assistant. Oh, okay. But you're a PI. I mean, you don't know anything about fashion or publishing. I mean, you, you like breaking mentoring and getting shot at. So. Yeah, it's kind of complicated. Uh, did Spinelli drop you like he dropped me? Can we have this conversation a little bit later? There's something I need to do. Okay, yeah, that is a truly tragic accessory. I mean, this is just the kind of thing Crimson used to educate women not to carry. I mean, just because you're on a limited budget, that is no excuse to carry around a horror show oh, oh, like this. I mean, what? I've been looking for one just like this. Oh, um, Mr. Manning, hi, I'm Maxie Jones. Oh, that's Hunter. great. Um, I used to work here, I mean, at Crimson, so and perfect. I was just Your wondering if you could talk to me bad. about the matter. Oh, I can't believe he just took the bag. And what is so important about that hideous bag? Okay, I got the bag. What do you want me to do? Just look inside it. There'll be a piece of paper with the man's phone number on it. Okay. I can find anything in here. You ever clean this thing out? Just find it. Call him and get him down here. He knows what you want him to do? Just tell him I'm ready to pull the trigger. Oh, okay. Then I'll send up the secret signal and we'll signal the other Avengers. Oh, that's hilarious. You know, while you're pondering your next punchline, Consider this. If I go down for Anthony Zakara's murder, I'll expose you for switching Sam's live baby with Taya's dead one. Oh, I don't even want to think about where half this stuff's been. Together anymore. He didn't want to raise a child that wasn't his. 
If I had to guess, I'd say that Sam was here to abandon her own child. I don't know something about that. And the woman out there, she already loves him. But it's not her kid. Don't you see? It really is a miracle. They've both been given a second chance. Mother Samantha Morgan, father Jason Morgan. It's not Franco. Okay, if that handbag is yours, please tell me it's left over from some undercover job where you're posing as a woman with it's no It's Heather Wivers. Todd Manning hired her as the new gossip columnist. Okay, that's weird, but it doesn't explain why you're going through her bag. The bag is a part of a new investigation. Oh, so you are still working with Shh, 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 Shh. Shh. Olivia hired us, yes, and she thinks that Heather's hiding something. The police are asking a ton of questions, calling her in. I think it's something I have. Hey, hi. Do you need me to file that? Would you like me to do something with that? Make copies, file it, anything? Oh, um, hey, Mr. Manning, if you have a moment, I would love to talk to you about Curtis and I, and I am really good at my job, and you could hire me back in a heartbeat. I make great lattes. Okay, maybe later. Well, that was about what I expected. Self-absorbed, entitled, and rude. No, 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 it's true. He's, he's not big on social conventions, but it, it's, it's strange. Sometimes he looks at me like he wants to bear a soul or tell me some deep, dark secret, and then he asks me to file something. It just, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, what doesn't make sense to me is that Todd Manning is known as a smart publisher, okay? I mean, he gives the people what they want. He gives them juicy headlines, pictures, gossip, and you end the whole thing. But if you're gonna write gossip, you have to be smart, otherwise you're gonna get sued and shut down. So why would somebody like Todd Manning trust a crucial part of his paper to someone like Heather Weber. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure that it actually happened like that. And you just said that he hired her to do the gossip call. Yeah, but uh, I'm not sure Heather actually filled out an application, is what I'm saying. I think there's something going on. Between Todd Manning and Heather Weber? Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about romantically. No. Okay, good, because I was going to say, if I was forced to watch that every day, I don't think I'd want my job back. Okay, so what do you think they're doing? I don't know. I, I do think it's something shady. And I think we have to start finding out now. This here doesn't make any sense. Why would Todd dump Heather's purse on his desk? This, look at all this. I don't know, maybe he likes candles or he needed some cooking fuel or, ooh, a can of smoked oysters. Okay, this woman is definitely more disturbed than I thought. Maybe he was looking for something. Well, yeah, well, whatever it is. Not something that he couldn't find at a convenience store. You're right. There's nothing incriminating here. Well, whatever Heather's up to, she doesn't like to keep records. Or Todd took them with him. That's a good point. Either way, I've got to tell Spinelli we have nothing, and no, I've got to start Sp over. Spinelli talk about these days, and has he told you how much he hates me? <sighs> Spinelli doesn't hate you, Maxie. <laughs> you know, well, he cut me out of his life without a second thought. Yeah, he had I mean, if anybody should be doing the cutting, it's me. Spinelli betrayed me, Sam. He promised that he wouldn't tell anybody that Matt killed Lisa Niles, and then he just blabs it to an entire courtroom. Yeah, I know, but he, he did that to keep you out of prison. Well, it's Spinelli's fault that I had to marry Matt. I had to save him, and I, I can't testify against him if I'm married to him, so... Okay, but Matt made the decision to turn himself in, so why stay married? Well, ever heard of loyalty? I don't know. I'm sure Spinelli could ask you the same question. You hurt him, Maxie. And that guy has been hurt, like, a serious amount of times. Yeah, well, I mean, Spinelli can't expect me to divorce Matt when he's in prison. It's not right. And besides, you know what? I love Matt, or at least I'm supposed to, so. Okay, yeah, exactly. So you made your choice, and now Spinelli has to move on without you, no matter how much it hurts. Trust me, I'm... <laughs> Out of, out of anyone, I think I can understand how he feels. You and Jason? Yeah, let's just say things have gone from bad to worse. Todd? What are you doing here? You called me. I think I was very clear with my instructions. I need an alibi. Alibi? Excuse me? I'm pretty sure you just heard me. What is this? 
Where did you get that? From your bag. What? Who said you could go through my things? You did. Jason Morgan is the father, and you let everybody think that it was Franco? I know. Delicious, isn't it? I kissed someone last night. Someone that wasn't Jason. Um, well, as you know, this is an area in which I have an unfortunate amount of expertise. I mean, I've kissed a lot of guys that I shouldn't have and slept with a few of them. You didn't sleep with him, though. No. No, no. It, it, was, it was just a kiss. It was only a kiss. But we were both a little upset and maybe a little drunk, maybe, maybe, maybe a lot drunk. Mm -hmm. but, but we agreed that it was never going to happen. I, I mean, agreements like that, Sam, they don't, they don't last long. Yeah, but this one, this one, this one won't because he's not going to be in Port Charles anymore. He's a perfect solution. He's out of town. He won't be tempted and Jason never has to know, okay? Jason saw us. That's bad. Jason kissed someone else. That's worse. And when I, when I was at Kelly's and I saw Jason, he wasn't wearing his wedding ring. That's really upsetting. But hey, you know what? Any wedding ring that you take off, I mean, you can put it right back on. And you and Jason can make it through this. I mean, hey, I hope plan your wedding. <sighs> you and Jason really love each other, Sam. And you know what? Trust me, I know. Love like that, it doesn't just go away. Mm. I don't know. That there was a time that I thought maybe what you're saying could be right, but then now I don't think there's anything that could hold Jason and I together. <laughs>